Well, I've had a request to put together a video outlining what I carry in the bays, where I put the bays. I have a Coachman Encounter 36-foot motorhome, and so what this video is going to do is to outline what's in the bays, what I carry, and I do kind of carry a lot of stuff. But anyway, I'm going to take you on a tour. Be right back. Okay, so here we go. I carry two buckets just because there's times where I need to wash, wash things out and clean things up. Also, in these buckets are these noodles. I cut these noodles in order to slide on the edges of my slides uh, to keep me from bashing my head in uh, when I'm walking around the, the RV. I have a blue container here, plastic container, that has my hoses, all of my water supply issues in it. I have a zero uh, G water hose, which I think is the best fresh water hose you can buy uh, instead of those white stiff ones. This thing has really worked out well for me. I also have two of these regular green hoses just for flushing out the tanks, uh, miscellaneous use, this type of thing. And I have two of those that I use. Also, I have my water regulator with a various spigot. Uh, connector on it to where I can hook up these two hoses on here. I can hook up the fresh water hose on there. I can turn them on and off as I need to. And of course, uh, to monitor and set what water pressure I want coming into my RV. And of course, this hooks on to the shore water uh, faucet as well. Of course, paper towels are always handy to have on hand. And then I got this idea from another viewer. And what he did is he took a water filter system and he hooked it into his fresh water inlet and then cut the top off of a uh, one of these construction cones in order to set it in. Uh, to make it uh, stable. I have in this container my uh, hoses, my hose for the sewer. I keep it in this container just because uh, I kind of think it's better to put it in here. But I use something called a sewer solution hose. I, I do not use the slinky stinky hose. I use this sewer solution uh, hose for my uh, sewer. The reason I like it is this, I can hook on a um, external water hose, one of those green ones, and I can put it in here. When I'm getting ready to flush my tanks, I have the other hose hooked into my onboard uh, flush and what ends up happening is when I pull the the, uh, the tube to to actually drain the black tank, I have the water running through here and it shoots a jet down through here that when the solids come in, it just breaks the solids up and then sends them on down the hose to the uh, sewer. This has been really a good, good system. I really have enjoyed this. I don't even use the slinky stinky anymore unless I just have to. And if I had to do an emergency dump station, 
dump, I could use the uh, stinky slinky, the big hose, in order to uh, take care of that. So that's kind of what I carry in this bay. Uh, of course, I have numerous bungee cords to tie the hoses and this type of thing up. I do have extra water filters. And uh, another thing that's interesting is this right here is something we picked up at one of our rallies. It's called the sewer saddle bag. What it is, it's filled with sand. And when you place the sewer drain into the shore sewer system, you can lay this over the top of that and that keeps that connection very tight and you don't have to worry about it coming out and this type of thing. So anyway, uh, it works real good. I really uh, have had good luck with it and uh, it just works real good. So anyway, hang on a minute. We'll go to the other bays and see what I've got in the other bays. In this bay, I have uh, miscellaneous things. I have a Vi Air air pump, which is really one of the best high pressure air pumps that you can get. Uh, and it runs off, of, uh, uh, hooks up to a battery. And I'll show you how I, I have an external battery pack that I carry in case we need to jump start a vehicle or something like that. Uh, also back here in the back as you can see I have a, a brand new zero G hose that I carry Right up here. You see that I have some Lynx levelers uh, A couple of boxes of Lynx levelers. These things are real handy to stack. You can stack numerous ones on top of each other uh, in order to get uh, under the jacks should you have uh, uh, You're off uh, you're on a unlevel area whatever so it doesn't extend the jacks too much on those uh, unlevel areas so those things work really good this is the wet bay area I uh, use it I, or I have hooked up a few extra things in it uh, I have a quick disconnects on all of my different connections uh, onboard water, shore water, and also for f a quick flush. And um, I've hooked those into my hoses to where I just pop those on, snap them in, and they work really, they work real good. Of course, on the hose that I use for the uh, black tank flush, I have an anti backup valve on the hose to keep uh, any uh, backup water from, from going uh, into the water system. But um, this thing, these quick disconnects are really, really nice to have. And they're real easy. You can pick those up at Lowe's, Home Depot, whatever. Uh, and they come in two parts. One for your, um, one for your uh, actual hookup and then one for the hose. Works really good. I also put in a CB system into my RV. Uh, it's really good to hear uh, the truckers uh, along the way. They can be real helpful on road conditions, traffic conditions. Uh, since they have the fire stick up there as the antenna, ran the uh, coax cable uh, down the ladder, and it goes underneath the coach all the way up to the front of the coach and in through the dog house area uh, off of the engine. This is the area where I keep all my tools. I, I don't think with an RV you can have too many tools. Uh, they're always handy to have. And then of course all of the uh, different cleaning solutions I keep in a, a container as well. Um, and I also have a creeper that you can lay down on a flat surface and if you need to crawl underneath your RV for anything that fits in the attic area very handy and uh, then I'm going to show you also uh, what we do as far as cooking outdoors our outdoor cooking is done with what's called a black stone griddle 
Uh, you can see that I've got my tackle box back there as well. But this is one of the best portable grills that I've ever seen. It works so good. It's you're able to cook anything on this grill on this grill. Uh, eggs, bacon, uh, hash browns, stir fries, anything uh, you can cook on it. And when you hook it, hook it up, you sometimes will have wind blowing underneath the griddle part and these scrapers that you buy at Dollar General for goodness a dollar a piece and I got a whole handful of those uh, those things are real handy to keep the wind from blowing uh, between your your actual um, grill griddle grill part and the flame that's underneath also I have in this bag I have my spatulas my cooking oils miscellaneous utensils is what I have in this one so that works real good also here's the DVD for the outdoor TV and uh, sometimes we'll put a movie on if we're camping somewhere and sit outdoors if it's nice and watch a movie one other, one other comment about the uh, dish service <clears throat> is uh, I have all of my local dish channels that uh, are the dish channels that I have at home when I hook this up that I have subscribed to. Also, uh, if you get to an area, another campground, or even another state, uh, you can call dish, give them your zip code of where you're located and they can download the actual local channels, TV channels, ABC, NBC, CBS, for that area, which is really handy if you're gonna be there for a while. In this area is where I keep my tailgater satellite uh, antenna. And um, I chose not to put I mount a satellite dish on top of my RV because if you get under trees uh, sometimes you're in an RV park where you're under trees and you just can't get a signal well with this tailgater I can uh, hook it up with uh, my coax cable uh, to my receiver which goes through my wet bay up through to my uh, receiver my satellite receiver inside and I can simply move this out uh, in the open to where I can get a signal. Uh, I've not had any problems with theft on this. I can take a cable, I can run it through the handle, and then I can take that and uh, pedlock it uh, to the frame of the coach or whatever. But anyway, it works really, really good. Uh, I have dish at home, and in order to add a, another tuner uh, for service for my RV, I think it costs me seven bucks a month. If we're not using the coach for a number of months, I can call dish and have them uh, deactivate that one, and then when I get ready to uh, start again, I can call them and tell them to activate it again. And of course, during the act deactivation they're not charging you the seven dollars but uh, the dish tailgater is really really good this is the other side of the coach uh, from where we started uh, as you can tell this goes all the way underneath uh, it does have a pretty unique area there that I call it the bay attic where you can put your chairs and this type of thing. And as you can tell, I've got in here, I've got, of course, our rug. I've got a flagpole, that extendable flagpole. That is the three-in-one portable power pack that I was talking about that I hooked the Vi Air to. And uh, that thing really is handy. Uh, I can um, 
if somebody needs a jump start or something i can jump start off of it i can charge phones off of it i got that thing at uh i believe harbor freight i think it was about 30 40 dollars and it, and then you just plug it in uh probably once every three months or whatever it is if you're not using it and charge it up it's real easy uh, to use the um other thing that you see there is just a, a cooler. We sometimes will ice down some water, maybe a picnic lunch uh, if we're going somewhere in our tow vehicle. And uh, we'll just use it to, to carry this stuff. But that's pretty much what's in this bay. Of course, I've got my window cleaning uh, brushes and stuff to clean the... Um, the front windshield in this type of thing. So that's what we got. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the little tour of my uh, Bay Area. Feel free to make comments or whatever. I'm sure I've missed some things or maybe you can give me some more ideas, of things that uh, you do. But uh, feel free to share this video if you'd like with anybody. Uh, but I would really appreciate you liking it and sharing it. So anyway, uh, that's where I'm at with my RV. I hope you enjoyed it. And everybody have a blessed day.